uh, what's up everybody so today I am going to be talking to you so guys today I will be talking to you about the five basic controls that you need to know in order to start recording a video first up is the ISO now the ISO is basically your camera sensitivity to height uh, it comes in numbers 100 200 400 and 800 Basically, what you need to know is the higher the number, the more sensitive your camera is to the light. So if you have an ISO of 100 and ISO 800, the ISO 800 will be more sensitive to light, your video is going to be brighter. Lower ISO, darker videos. Higher ISO, brighter videos. Number two is the shutter speed. The shutter speed is the uh, speed of which the shutter allows the light to come into your videos. Now, it goes from a number, for example, uh, one second, half of a second, one twentieth of a second, one twenty-fifth of a second, one sixtieth of a second, and so on and so forth. But again, all you need to know for now is that the higher or the faster the shutter speed is, the darker the video is going to be. Slower or the lower the shutter speed is, the brighter the video is going to be. You want the videos to get brighter, the reduce the, the shutter speed. You want the videos to be darker, increase the shutter speed. And number three is the aperture. Now, the aperture basically corresponds to the aperture blade inside your lenses which opens and closes every time you click the shutter. The aperture goes by F numbers. Uh, the aperture is denoted by the letter F and a number after it. The reciprocal uh, connection between them. For example, when we say larger aperture, that means the aperture opening is larger, you, get, you use the smaller F number. Now, the larger the aperture is, the more light is going to come in, you have a brighter video. The smaller the aperture is, you have less light in, the darker the video is going to be. So, if you want your videos to be brighter, you're going to have to use a larger aperture. If you want your videos to be darker, you just use a, lower, a smaller aperture. And number four is for white balance how warm or how cool your video is. Different light sources emit a different kind of uh, light uh, with different temperatures. Now your cameras need time to adjust. It requires some uh, adjustment just to make sure that it shows uh, the light in a, a consistent uh, way. You got to change the white balance in your camera settings. But you don't really have to worry too much about this because most modern cameras come with an auto white balance settings. They're going to automatically adjust it for you. But in some cases, or some people I've met, they prefer their videos to be a little bit warmer. Some people prefer it to be a bit cooler. So that's where the temperature white balance comes in. Now, uh, but just to be safe, just keep it on auto and you'll be good to go. Here's number four. And number five comes the trickiest part, the frame rates or you can see in most videos or in most videography specs it's going to be denoted by the FPS or the frame per second now the frame per second basically tells you how many frames is the camera recording in one second for example you're going to see 25 FPS 50 FPS 60 FPS or even the modern cameras comes in 120 FPS which simply means they are recording 120 frames per second of images in one second. So you see current television system runs at 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second. Uh, cinematic movies, as you see in cinemas, movies, blockbusters, they usually run at 24 frames per second. And for now, the higher the frame rates, the better it is for your video. If your camera's got the option to record at 120 frames per second, go for it. 60 frames per second go for it but most cameras nowadays at uh, uh, I would say consumer price point have around 25 frames per second and 30 frames per second even I myself right now is recording at 30 frames per second so that's for frame rates now that is five basic controls that you need to know for now if you want to start recording a video the ISO, the shutter speed, the aperture, the white balance and the frame rates per second I'm gonna go into each and every one of these in a little bit more detail of this but for now that is all what you need to know so guys, uh, start uh, meddling, fiddling with your cameras, find the settings, it should be in there, but if not, don't fret, don't sweat, just go with whatever you can, most cameras allow you to at least change the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed is a different story, 
But if you can find them, just use the common auto settings, and the settings are gonna, the camera is gonna set everything out for you. But remember, the most important part of it all is that you need to go out and shoot. No matter how much it is, now with some knowledge, you start, you start to set the cameras better. Just go out there, start recording, start shooting, see how it goes, change the settings according to what you have learned. Do it properly, do it accordingly. Now you don't have to know everything at all, but I've listed all the five basics for you. So go out there and get some videos. Until next time. Uh...